Then my heart with pleasure fills and dances with the daffodils. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'll be showing you how I draw flower sketches with a black ball pen from start to end, so stay tuned. This is my ball pen sketchbook as everything I have made in here is with a black ball pen and in some sketches there is a touch of pencil colors. <laughs> so before finally deciding what I wanted to draw, today I was once again short of inspirations for my art. I did not know what to draw, I had no idea, I was totally confused. So what I did was I closed my sketchbook, I got up and I went outside. So you might be wondering why I went outside when actually what I wanted to do was to draw something was to paint something but whenever i am short of inspirations i always like to turn to nature to seek inspiration and naturally as it's spring season i saw a lot of flowers around me the best and the one that was in full bloom was the daffodils oh god i love daffodils so much these are just one of my favorite flowers from the very beginning. You know, when I was a kid, there were many daffodils growing in our garden. I don't know who planted them. I guess it was my grandfather. Um, I don't know. I think I need to ask my father about it. <laughs> anyway, at that time, I did not know how to care for flowers, how to tend them. But I just loved watering them and smelling them as... You might know daffodils, they smell so beautifully. Later, I even planted some more of them, but I did not see them grow. As uh, we changed the entire landscape soon after that. But my love for daffodils still remain. Mm, daffodils are, you know, one of my favorite flowers because they inspire me in so many ways. You know, as they are one of the first signs of spring, they inspire me, you know, to get back up, bloom, while radiating the fragrance of joy and happiness, of positivity, and all that is worthwhile. You know, it really amazes me that daffodil fields can bloom for decades, despite the unknown grass around it, the weeds around it, all the negative forces around it. Despite all of that, the daffodil fields can bloom for decades. Just imagine, it's so beautiful. And you know, it teaches us so many things. It teaches us to bring out the best in ourselves and obviously not to be intimidated by the negative environment around us, which by the way is inevitable. You know, you can never avoid a negative environment around you it is there more than the positivity around you you'll always find the negative things but you should not hold yourself back because of those things you, you should just fight your way through all of that and get out stand up and stand out from all of that and bring your best self out because that is what we are here for and that is what we're living for you know, we just have one life, we just have a limited time which is slipping through our fingers so fast that there is no time for us to be caught up in the quagmire of negativity. Let's use our time to strive to be the best. You don't have to be the best, but you have to strive to be the best because in the end, it's the process that matters, not the end result. And I guess it's the process that mattered in this video and I guess the result is beautiful too. And with this, we are ending today's video. Until next time, bye bye, take care.